Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do more missing women and children cases. We are here to break the codes if we see any. We are here to see where their bodies are located, and if they know. And we also here to see if they are alive, deceased, body suited, misidentity, or change of ethnicity. Your yeah, already should know who's involved, the white supremacists and the African Americans. I gave my word to my people that I will do some on my dog day, okay? That's like my energy was in shit could do stuff for Tuesday, so I'm here, okay, and this is, also, I can go into different categories, okay, I was on suicide, but I really don't know what that means, and I already did them, okay, I'm gonna look at it later, okay, so I got this other page, which is, um, jealousy, she was the only one in the jealousy category, so we can talk about Julie Johnson, J-U-L-I-I -I Johnson, was killed in a murder for hire plot by boyfriend's ex-girlfriend. Okay, so you know, somebody in 2017, okay, so whoever bought her, he probably already had someone. They were actually down with the shit, you know, with him or whatever. And jealousy, she, she wanted to kill her. Okay, this is how she looks. Who? She saying who? Who? I don't know if this is the one about, the, about that. Um, I don't know if this is the one that I heard where her boyfriend is girlfriend ran her into a free they but they both died though let's see the death of julie johnson was a murder ruled by jealousy by january 2017 julie and her boyfriend jim terrell latner was enjoying their life together in warren michigan around 7 30 a.m on january the 13th Julie didn't find anything to be unusual as she was leaving Jim's condo. Suddenly, someone surprised the 34-year-old and opened fire. Julie was shot multiple times and according to Fox 2 News, she was found on the front lawn of her boyfriend's home. Click on the four reports that Julie was killed while sitting in her car. Macomb, okay, so Shanice did this to her. Yes, she's saying yes. Okay, because Shanice used to bathe in my first daughter blood in the first apartment. Macomb Daly says that Julie was shot seven times. Okay, this dude that killed this baby, that I'm going to post him with the baby, That this is about him and her and Shanice. Says that Julie was shot seven times including one aimed at her head while she was standing next to her vehicle. Seven could be significant. The investigation into the murder of Julie Johnson led police to Marcy Griffin, George Ryder, and Eric Gibson. Griffin has two children with and is the ex-girlfriend to Jim, Julie's boyfriend. Police say that Marcy recruited her current boyfriend Ryder and his friend Gibson, they say, he's saying yes, to help orchestrate and carry out the shooting death of Julie. Yes. Griffin and her ex Jim have been together for 17 years. He's saying yes before he moved on and entered into a relationship with Julie. Jim and Julie, she said she didn't know that. Jim and Julie had been together for two years and not long before her death, the couple went on vacation to Las Vegas to celebrate the new year. Griffin spoke woolly about Julie and things only escalated when she was under the belief that Jim and Julie got married while in Vegas. This is also them together. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. The three suspects were soon arrested and charged with first-degree murder in their court. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna like her. She's she gonna be a good friend with me up there. Okay, okay. During the trial, text messages between Griffin and her boyfriend, Ryder, showed that the pair was joking about the plot, about the, about the plot the day of Julie's death. Yes, when I made that channel message about go through the mouth, she, she went ahead and went up there. She heard it. Good morning, sh sunshine. Today is a beautiful day. Friday the 13th, writer wrote, LOL. Griffin responded, okay? Yeah, they being funny. Gibson 
and mentally denied that he was involved in the brutal killing and stated in court that the DNA found at the scene that linked him to being the actual trigger man, he's saying she needs no, she's saying yes, was forced by authorities. My condolences to the family for their loss, said Gibson. I hope they find the person who committed this heinous crime. Michigan State Police and Warren Police Ill illegally obtained my DNA and forced evidence against me to make it look like I committed this crime, okay? Yes. Okay, this is also them, okay? And in the middle issue, me, she want me to tell y'all that's how she looks when she need a fix, okay? When she need a, somebody to eat, okay? And yes, yeah, she's saying, yes, yeah, she did. Eat off of me. In June 2019, all three defendants were found guilty of first-degree murder. Gibson caught another conviction, conviction, conviction on a charge of possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. Griffin, Ryder, and Gibson, okay, so Shanista Ryder, Gibson was all sentenced to life without parole. All three aren't allowed to contact one another or any member of Julie's family. The defense attorney asserted that police honed in on the three suspects without waiting other options, including Jim Latner. He's reportedly a convicted drug dealer and when police crew and they click, you know, bodies. And when police searched his property, kinda like that movie that I did a long time. Um Feed me. It's about that um fly frap that got big, but he got he gotta feed him though with humans. That what he do. That what they do. That what he did for Shanice. He found him a pretty good find any woman and he feeds them to her. They found five hundred and thirty-three thousand dollars in cash were found in his home, while twelve thousand in cash were found in his Ford F one fifty parked in the, in his driveway. Ladner pleaded the fifth during the trial as to not incriminate himself. He faced a gun charge for a firearm that was reportedly located in his vehicle. You are full of explosive, like for real. You are really full of explosive, Marcy said Kiera Johnson. Julie's daughter said in court, I don't know what my mama did to you. I really don't, but I wouldn't wish that on nobody, literally nobody. Okay, they would have me by that seven. So she became Gina's daughter or she needs another picture of her. Cause seven is a God number. I'm going to miss her and to know her was to love her, says Jean Marie Shatman, Julie's older brother. She was a beautiful spirit person as well, as we all knew. Julie's mother, Pamela Johnson, added, to sit with no remorse, but you have to live with what you did. You know your role, your part in this, and you have to live with it every day. My heart and thoughts are with Julie Johnson's family, okay? Not her real name, I heard. So if y'all like the help with this case, y'all can. I don't do it for the fame and the money. I do it for, because this is what I love to do. You want to donate or help the families out, it's look in the description box in the comment within 24 hours, okay? Enjoy. Peace. Thank you.